Hello everyone, I'm back, Lutra FM, with another episode of Fight Club Pro Local to Global on TW9. Uh, in the last episode, we continued the push for Luke Jacobs as the champion. He went on a, he has been on a bit of a run as the champion, um, wrestling literally every show we've done, and just coming across opponent after opponent and overcoming them. So we'll carry on with that in this episode, hopefully. Um, we've also got the tag champions of Flash, Morgan Webster and Mark Andrews who will continue to defend their titles and also we're going to try and um, get the women's division rolling a bit. We've got a few decent women's wrestlers there, in uh, especially Millie, so hopefully we can try and build around her and Session Moff Martina. But anyway, I'll be back in a sec with the first show of the episode. Right, I'm back. Um, we've done some changes to the inner circle here. So we've got, um, we got rid of Clint Marguerra and we've put Doug Williams here as a locker room leader. And then for the morale officer, I've changed it to Grado. I'm hoping his jovial personality will come across well. God help us if it doesn't. Um, but yeah, so that's that. And then also what I've done, even though I really didn't want to do it, I've used the editor to change the finances to zero because we're minus 100 grand. The only reason I've done it is out of necessity because the company would go bankrupt. Otherwise, it would just carry it on. So like I said, I don't want to do it, but I've had no choice really. Um, but anyway, we've got our first show of the episode. Let's try and make it a good one. Like I said, we're kind of getting, I'm kind of getting the gist now of who's good and who's not. And then pre-show incidents unfortunately some of the equipment used to run the show is sent to the wrong place the live event can still go ahead but there'll be a small penalty great that's that's not what we want to see right locker room incidents training training um some heat between nathan cruz and morale officer oh, for god's sake it's already started i was thinking if i had grado as the morale officer would fix things but yeah anyway uh, mark haskins has got a lot of heat backstage with the rest of the locker room after pulling a taste of rib on everybody okay and then brandon white has also gotten a lot of heat with the rest of the locker room for his selfish behavior okay all right so uh first of all we'll pull a rib on mark haskins major prank there we go the rib was completed but failed to provide any positive or negative feedback okay fair enough so what we'll do is, because Brendan White and Mark Haskins are moaning, we will put them in a tag team match. Because like I said, I'm a very petty man. I don't like people, troublemakers. And then what we'll do is we'll put them against Levi Muir and who else? Grado. No, not Grado. Um, we'll give Callan Newman a rub. So we'll have them two. And then what we'll do is we'll have Levi Muir and Callum Newman win. We'll have them dominate. And then we will um, keep strong them as well. We will protect them. I don't know how bad this will be. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll bury Mark Haskins. Where is he? Brendan White. There we go. Yeah, I know you're not happy. That's just how it is. Mark Haskins didn't complain though, so at least there's that. And then what we'll do is, well, I believe on Muir, attack uh, Mark Haskins after the match. There we go. Right then, let's get on with the rest of the show. Let's try and put on a good show now after I just have my little petty little moment there. So what we'll do now, we'll have subculture versus POD. So 
the tag team titles. We'll have the tag champions retain, re, sorry, retain, but we'll have an open match. And we'll go steal the show. Hopefully we can do that. Good. Um, and what we'll do now is we'll have a, actually we'll have a women's tag team match now. Have women's. And then we'll have nearly on one team with Chantel Jordan. And then we'll have Session Moth Martina and Nina Samuels on the other team. So we'll have the blondes versus, oh no, Session Moth Martina is blonde. I apologise. I was going to say, we'll have the peroxide blondes versus the rest. And then we'll have, we'll leave it blank actually. Open match. And then what we'll do after the match is we will have Nina Samuels attacking. As well as Session Moth Martina. And then Millie can be the victim. And so can Chantel. I'll just put post-match attack. Probably quicker than writing every single wrestler down. Right, so... We've got enough time for one more match, so we'll have another tag team match. And what we'll do is we'll have boo, 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 boo. who should we have? Trent available, so we'll have Trent and Luke Jacobs versus Kenny Williams and Joseph Connors. And we'll go storytelling. Right. Okay, that's fine. We'll just carry on anyway. Right, so here's the match. So it had great and good wrestling. Levi Mule and Callum Newman defeated Brendan White and Mark Haskins. Callum Newman pinned Mark Haskins. The segment got 32, the wrestling got 36. How did Levi Mule do? 28, um, it wasn't that much uh, worse than Brendan White or even Mark Haskins. Callum Newton, though, is, Newman, sorry, is pretty good. So that's good to know. I'm not going to bother talking about the angles. They don't really do anything for the show or do anything for me, so we'll just ignore them. Uh, Superculture retained the tag titles when Mark Andrews pinned Ashton Smith for the shooting star press. <coughs> It was an exceptional match. Second got 65, wrestling got 61. Um, obviously, I believe tag team champions were way, way and above the best out of the lot here. Um, and then Lily McKenzie and Chantel Jordan defeated Session Mark Martina and Nina Samuels when Chantel Jordan pinned Nina Samuels. It's good. Got 55 for the second, 47 for the wrestling. Millie McKenzie with a 60, um, Session Moth Martin with a 50. They were the two best ones out of the in the match. And then the main event, Trent Seven and Luke Jacobs defeated Kenny Williams and Joseph Connors when Luke Jacobs submitted Kenny Williams with a figure four leg lock. Um, got a 53 rating for the segment, 48 for the wrestling, and then Trent Seven was the standout performer in this match. So, yeah, not too bad. Um, increase the popularity in one region. The show appeared worse because of the pre-show equipment problems. Okay, overall rating 47, 67 people turned up. Not too bad of a show so yeah, to start the episode. I think I'm coming down with something by the way, so I apologise my throat's a bit croaky. <clears throat> and if I'm constantly doing this. Right, we made minus five, well nearly six grand probably because of all the wrestlers that we used. Okay. So, uh, I'll be back in a sec with the next part of the uh, episode. Right, I'm back with the next part of the episode. Um, I decided to improve my road agents. So, there's a few surprises. That, um, I've, I've enlisted people from 
America and abroad, so you'll soon see. Uh, Heidi Katrina has turned up and requested that she's allowed to hang out backstage. She's an unemployed and worker and happens to be the extra on command. The backstage rumour mill has been in overdrive after Mark Andrews and Dasaki Sakamoto apparently got into a heated argument. Okay, Apparently the pair of Mike Bird and David Rain have been hanging out a lot race recently. Okay, Trent Seven got into an argument with Grado backstage and annoyed that the morale officers attempt the team building. Okay. Um, Mike Bird came to you backstage with an idea enhancing his character. It's automatically added to creative ideas. Training, training. Rampage Brain, Rampage Brain? Sorry, Rampage Brown entered their locker room by organizing a poker tournament. Uh, Brendan White has gotten into a lot of heat with the rest of the backstage, rest of the locker room for his selfish behavior. Sorry, I keep jumping ahead sometimes when I'm talking. Clint Margera turned up very late, breaking locker room rules. And then. Uh, Toshiaki Kawada has been openly complaining about Doug Williams having the senior road agent position, so I might do some more um, changes to the road agents and things like that. Now we've got some new workers in, but we'll see after this show. Um, right, so let's start with one one match, and then what we'll do is I'll show you who we've got here, so we've got Black Terry, so he can make his debut against Levi Mule. And we can hope hope that they have a good match because Black Terry is a senior pro. And uh, we'll give Levi Mule the win. Um okay, so we just need to change that to 10 minute match maybe. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll do Levi Moore on the microphone. Oh, which one is it? Work in the crowd? Should we try work in the crowd? We'll try work in the crowd. I've never done that one before. It'll be sink or swim. I don't know what it means, but I assume it means microphone work. Um, right, so we'll do another match now. Who else have we got to... So a lot of these older wrestlers, they'll come in. They're coming in as road agents, but obviously they can also wrestle as well. So we'll have Callum Newman against uh, Sakimoto, so we can give him his debut. Fifteen minutes, and we'll have Callum Newman win that one. And then what we'll do is we'll have Callum Newman. We'll just do character development. Again, I don't know what that means. I don't know whether that will help him or not. But we'll see. Right. Do we get another match now? Have we got any women, new women's wrestlers? No, we haven't, have we? No. So, what we'll do now is we've got Dick Togo so he can come in and do a match. Oh we've got Christopher Daniels as well. Um so we can have we have Dick Togo versus Grado. Give Grado a win. Actually we'll leave it blank. We'll let the AI decide. And then what we'll do now is we'll have Christopher Daniels versus Trent Seven. leave that blank and then we'll do one more match and we'll have Luke Jacobs versus Chris Hero we'll leave it at 10 minutes because I don't know if Chris Hero can go or not yet so Luke Jacobs retain oh uh, I need to put the heavyweight title on well alright that's that I think we're alright let's crack on let's see how we get on so Levi Moore defeated Black Terry, the second got 25, the crowd were not interested in this at all, uh, unfortunately. Wrestling only got 21, uh, Black Terry does not need to be in this ring ever again. Um, oh yeah, I've put I've put Don Callis with, uh, he's now managing Levi Moore and also Luke Jacobs, so there will be some developments on that one at some point. Um, the segment for Levi Moore working the crowd got a 24. Again, didn't Don Callis work well? Um, 
need to give him a script next time. Callum Newman defeated uh, Dasuki Sekimoto. Got a 57 for the segment, 53 for the wrestling. So at least Sekimoto can go in the ring. That's good because we can utilise him well when we need to. Um, the character development segment got a pretty good rating of 41. So that's good. Hopefully that'll help Callum Newman in the long run. Uh, Dick Togo defeated Grado. Got a 35 for the segment, 32 for the wrestling. Grado was slightly better in the ring. And then Trent Seven defeated Christopher Daniels. Got a 60 for the segment, 54 for wrestling. Um, Christopher Daniels was pretty good in the ring, 48. But he always has been good in the ring, no matter how old he is. And then in the main event, Luke Jacobs defeated Chris Hero. The segment got a 50, the wrestling got a 44, and uh, Chris Hero did alright, let's just say that. And uh, uh, unfortunately, Luke Jacobs and Don Callis are a very poor combination, so we'll have to change that. Right, so the show increased our popularity in one region, we got an overall rate of 49, and 66 people turned up, so not too bad at all. Get rid of that. We made... Oh my god, we made minus 17 grand having all these uh, imports is costing us a fair bit by the looks of it. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Oh, I didn't overclick there. Right, then I'll be back in a sec with the next show. Right, we're back with the next show. We'll go Star Wars. Um... I've given some of the wrestlers managers as well, so we'll see that. Uh, training, training. Dave, Dan Reed was brought before wrestlers court, accused of failing to pick up his share of the tab at the bar. Jun Yakamana found the guilty and sentenced him to buy drinks with a British show. Okay. Will Cruz and Matthew Horgan have apparently been hanging out together backstage. Um, Nathan Martin lifted the locker room when he organised and won a video game tournament, so fair play. At least it's something nice for a change. According to the backstage rumour mill, uh, Fujiwara is disgruntled with Christopher Daniels being the senior ref, yeah, senior road agent, which is really annoying because I've only just appointed him as the road agent. Uh, Clint McGarrow has gotten a lot of heat backstage the locker room. His recent attitude, the signs that he turns to a very, yeah, very bad situation if not handled properly. Um, Dan Reed chose to respond with a stern warning. And then Brendan White has been... Spreading rumours about Wild Ball, which almost got into a fist fight between the two. I'll leave that there, like so. Right then, let's carry on like we did at the last show. But what I'm going to do is start with a women's match, because we, haven't, we didn't do one last show, so we'll just have that first. And we'll do um, Raven Creed. Okay, who's now managed by Raven. So just leave it blank. Likelihood is Millie McKenzie will win. We'll do Raven Creed after the match, attacking Millie. go next match we'll do we'll do um men's and then what we'll do is um who haven't we jun yun yakiyama akiyama sorry we'll have him versus kenny williams leave it blank we'll have kenny williams um, we'll just have him do being interviewed afterwards. There you go. Right, so that's that. And then what we'll do, let's have a look down here. Men's. Uh, we've got Fujiwara, who's 75 years old. So we'll have him versus Grado. We'll leave it at 10 minutes. Bless him, still wrestling at 75. I'll be amazed if I'm still alive at 75. 
<laughs> Sorry, that sounded very morbid. Right, great Sasuke. We'll have him against. Uh, where is he? Kid Lycos 2. Battle of the Masked Wrestlers. We'll have them go 15 minutes. And then what we'll do is. We'll have. Uh, Skay Day. I'll have him against Luke Jacobs. The heavyweight title. Have Luke Jacobs retain. Start the show. Right then. So Millie McKenzie, as we expected, defeated Raven Creed with the Ace Crusher. Got 44 for the segment. Crowd was not happy about this. Wrestling got 43. Uh, Millie McKenzie tried to do her best to carry Raven Creed to a good match. Um, we've still got Clint Margera's road agent, which is a bit annoying. We're going to have to change that. Raven did good, some good work. That's uh, did Raven did some good work at ringside. So there you go. Angelaka has got nineteen. Got the crowd part though. Um, right. So we did um, a match between Kenny Williams and Yun Yakiyama, and Kenny Williams won. Got 42 for the segment, 41 for the wrestling. Uh, Akiyama did okay. Again, why have we got Lee Hunter as the road agent? I need to change up what's going on here. So we've got Raven as the road agent, that's fine. Lee Hunter, no, we're not doing Lee Hunter here. Yaka, uh, Akiyama. And then, there you go, we've got Kawada. Let's carry on. Uh, the angle afterwards, so Kenny Williams, was, uh, Kenny Williams was superb working without script. He had the crowd in the palm of his hand the entire time. Got 56 rounds, so that's really good to see. Um, Grado defeated Fujiwara with the Wii boot. Segment got a 30, wrestling 25. Fujiwara does not need to be anywhere near this ring, so I need to get rid of him as an active wrestler. And then Kid Lycos 2 defeated the, the great Sasuke. Got 41 for the segment, 33 for the wrestling. Uh, again, great Sasuke shouldn't be anywhere near the ring, but you know maybe he'd be good as in, in a six-man match with the Kid Lycos twins or something. He could be like in a little stable with them. Um... And then the main event, Luke Jacobs defeated Skayadi. Got a 45 for the segment. The, re the crowd was not happy about it, though. 35 for the wrestling. Luke Jacobs was pretty good. Skayadi, again, shouldn't be in the ring, so we'll get rid of him as a wrestler. Didn't improve our popularity. Got 45 overall rating. We got 70 people in, which ain't too bad. Won't bother with that. We made... Uh, minus 28 grand, it's getting worse. Uh, oh no, overall loss, sorry, 10 grand. That's not too bad. Better than it was last show. Right, what I need to do is get rid of Skade and uh, Fujiwara as active wrestlers. I think there was another one, but I can't remember who, so I'll have a look in a sec. So we'll just go down here, Fujiwara. Change that to that, and then Skade. You can just stay as road agent. Um, right, let's just have a look at the last there you go, show history. Um, so it wasn't, I think, was it Yakiyama? No, Yakiyama was alright. 31, which ain't too bad. Fujiwara. And Great Suzuki. So yeah, so we'll get rid of Great Suzuki as a active wrestler, bless him. Right, like so. That's that. Right then, I'll be back in a sec with the next show. Right, I'm back with the last show of the episode. And we're going to select the Starbucks as usual. And we're going to ignore the booking room. Go straight to the locker room instance. Brendan Wright almost got into a fight with Trent Seven after he caused some damage to his rental car. I'm getting a bit fed up with Brendan Wright. I might get rid of him soon. 
Um, training, training. The word backstage is that Jim Hunter and Lee Hunter have been getting on particularly well recently. Well, obviously they're brothers, so uh, according to others backstage, Connor, Mills and Don Callis are now travel buddies. I think Don Callis is his manager, so that's probably why. Jim Hunter and Joseph Connors have apparently been hanging out a lot backstage. Uh, Steve Blinsky is brought before wrestlers court, accused of being an hour late to pick up the assigned travel partner. The judge, young Yakiyama, found him guilty and sentenced to pay for the travel partner's meals for the next three shows. And then it's, uh, there is some heat backstage between Kawada and Christopher Daniels after the formally openly said that he disagreed with the choice of senior road agent. That's fair enough. Not too bad though overall. Let's see how we get on. So, let's figure out who hasn't wrestled for us yet. Men's. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other these old old wrestlers that we can put in here. Da, 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 da. No, we've already done Yakiyama. No, I think that's it. I think we've used them all as best as we can. So what we'll do. So yes, yeah, so we've got a few added to the roster here that we can use. Uh, we'll start the show with Will Cruz versus Matty Horgan. Give Will Cruz the win. We'll have him dominate match. And then we'll have him attack afterwards right so we'll just put cruise attacks Hogan. there we go and then we'll do Levi Moore he's getting a bit of a push from me We'll have him against Brendan White and we'll just have Levi Moore destroy him because Brendan White's an arsehole and he deserves to pay. And then we'll have Levi Muir um, being interviewed afterwards. Right, I need to do it Where is it when you can... I need to figure out how to script it. How do you script it? Hold on. This is it. No. No, it's nothing to do with that. Okay. Ah, interview. There we go. Um, I'm trying to figure out... Ah, there we go. Here we go, scripted. There we go. Right, I think that's it. I think I've done that all right. Um, right, we'll have a three-way tag team match now. We haven't had a tag match, title match in a while. And then what we'll do is obviously we'll have the champions, Mark Andrews and Flash Morgan Webster. And then we'll have them against Starbucks and um, I'm going to try out this new tag team that I've come across called The Firm and see how they do in this match. Ricky Knight Jr. is pretty good. Uh, put the tag titles on the line. We'll have the champions retain. And we'll try and steal the show in the process. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll do a six-way singles match for the title. We'll have Luke Jacobs, Trent Seven, Kenny Williams, Joseph Con uh, not Joseph Connors actually. Um, let's see what else we've got. Men's Spike Trivet. I don't think he's quite wrestled for us yet. 
Michael Oku and <coughs> Rampage Brown. We'll go 20 minutes, put the title on the line. And then what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to go spectacle, see what that does. Oh, um, yeah, Luke Jacobs needs to win. We nearly, we nearly accidentally had a new champion there. Right, Trent Seven is an apple double. Okay, well, you'll have to deal with it, Trent. Right, in the first match, that had great wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. Will Cruz defeated Matthew Holden with the Cruz driver. Got 34 for the segment, 40 for the wrestling. Um, oh, we need to get rid of David Rain as a bloody road agent. Right, okay. Uh, we just need to make sure that he's not road agent and anymore Jetta is not good enough as well so we need to get rid of her Dory Funk Jr can road agent that one and then uh, yeah see David Rain again we'll go Chris Hero for this one and then the main event Jerry Lynn's perfectly capable. Let's take that's good. So we carry on. Angle afterwards got 25. Uh, in a good match, Levi Moore defeated Brendan White. Got 34 for the segment, 34 for the wrestling. Uh, Levi only got 27. Brendan White was the better out of the two. Levi Moore and Don Callis have a good pair in the package of a well, which is really good. And then the angle afterwards got 29. So nice to see some greens on there. Um, some culture retain the tag titles when Mark Andrews pinned Mark Haskins with the shoot side press. They made number seven defense of the tag titles. The second got 67, 57 for the wrestling. Um, I think, yeah, Mark Andrews was obviously the better one out of a lot of them. But also Flash Morgan Webster did well as well. And then honorable mention to Connor Mills with 55. Um, Obviously, they we got all these bonuses for tag team specialists, and in the main event, Luke Jacobs retained his title. He submitted Spike Tribute with a figure four. Um, Mark J, sorry, Luke Jacobs makes defense number eight of the heavyweight title. It got forty seven for the segment, forty seven for the wrestling. Maybe we should have just kept it as a regular match. It might have been better. Um, Luke Jacobs, no, Trent Seven was the. Standout performer here, obviously Michael Oku and Luke Jacobs did well as well. So not too bad. Increased that popularity in one region, 48 rating overall, and then 66 people turned up, so pretty good. Let's leave that blank. We made nine oh just under 10 grand loss. We've increased our popularity to 15 now, which is good. Let's see if we can get a TV deal. I don't think we can. I think we've got to get till 20 to get a TV deal. Which is a bit frustrating, it's going to take us a while. So, hopefully, we can just build slowly, which is what I want to do. I don't want to just get like super popular very quickly, I want to build it up slowly. Um, let's just have a quick look. Yeah, let's try that first. Reset, click yes. No, nobody's interested. Oh, no, didn't want to do that. Um, right then, on that note. I'm going to call it a day for this episode. Uh, thank you again for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you for your support. I'm getting more love off the TW community than I'm off the FM community at the moment, so it's much appreciated. It's making me rethink about what I'm going to do long-term with my content. Do I just not do Football Manager stuff anymore? Do I just exclusively do TW stuff? And I do maybe like an extra series on top of the Fight Club Pro one. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think I should do. Also, give me ideas for saves to do on TW9, um, whether it's a retro database or a current day database. Is there any promotions that you want me to manage? Just let me know in the comment section. I always appreciate the comments I get from you lot. Anyway, I'll be back um, later on in the week. I'll be back on the weekend with another episode, and I'll see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your week.